Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about UFC 306 main event. Sean O'Malley versus Marab Devalish Willie. Sean O'Malley 18-1, 4-0-1 in his last five fights. The uh the last last no win, not win for O'Malley was two two years ago. Pedro Munoz eye poke. It was an eye poke. Minus 120. I don't know how he's not more of a favorite. 29 years old, 5'11 with a 72 inch reach. Fighting Marab Devalish, really, who's 17 and 4, plus 110 underdog. 33 years old, 5'6 with a 68 inch reach. 4 inch reach advantage for Sean O'Malley with a 5 inch in height as well. Let's talk about it. Average fight time for Sean O'Malley is 10 minutes, 15, about 15 and a half for Marab. Um, strikes landed per minute is 5.63 to 4.50. Accuracy 61 to 41. Here's where it's interesting. Strikes absorbed per minute 3.52 to 2.37. Defense is 62 to 57. So he doesn't his defense isn't very good. Doesn't get hit a ton, but the times he gets hit, he gets hurt. That is a reality. A takedown average is 0 0.35 to 6.43 from Rob. Clearly, takedown defense is 62%. Accuracy is 42 for Sean. 36 accuracy to 80% takedown defense, which, okay, whatever. Also, he's not finding guys that are really trying to take him down. So, that doesn't really mean anything. Couldn't get Aldo down. Jan did a very good job defensively on that. Just lost by volume. Didn't have the power to hurt Marab, really. But... You look at Marab's fights, like Frankie Signs was able to beat him by split decision. Marab had 11 takedowns. How in the world do you lose a fight and you had 11 takedowns? He had six takedowns against Ricky Simone. He got, a guillot got guillotined at the end, went to sleep. That's why he lost that one. Again, here's where it's fun. Marab, five takedowns, five takedowns. So that's 10, 22, 35. Uh, 37, 42, uh, 46, 0 against Aldo, 46, 57, and 62 total takedowns. He's been taken down 1, 2, 3, 5 times in his career. 5 times. Now, he's been hit. Let's do the math on this. Let's do the math on this. So... Um, 29 plus 75 plus 38 plus 29 plus 48 plus 27 plus 14 plus 45 plus da, 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 32 plus... 8 plus 34 plus 58 equals 437 times Rob has been hit. Not attempted. He has been hit. He has been connected on 437 times. He has been knocked down one Da, 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 da. One time he's been hurt by Marlon. Um, yeah, Marlon Marais hurt him real bad. Sahudo hurt him, which it doesn't show. Of course, it doesn't freaking show it. Um, yeah, but those are some big ones because they, he wasn't able to get clean entries. But 437 times he was hit. Now, if you go and you look at O'Malley. Let's see this. Uh, takedowns. Um, one. Five, but the four was up. He had a broken leg, and he didn't do it enough. So, one. So, I don't even count it. Five. And then Alfred, whatever that is. The guy he knocked on a contender series. So, again, I said one, five, eight, nine times. He's been taken down nine times. Nine. Nine. Nine times. He's been taken on nine times. Sterling is a very, very good... He doesn't have as much volume as Marab, but I would say Sterling is a better grappler than Marab. 
And if Sterling had, didn't have a lot of success in getting him down, I don't necessarily know what in the world um, the Rob's going to do. <clears throat> now, if, if we, we do here, so he's been hit 437 times in all of his fights in the UFC. Sean O'Malley has landed 230 plus 25 plus 84 plus 25 plus 39 plus 230 plus 86 plus 10 plus 13 plus 18 plus 63 plus 141 plus 27 this is how much sean o'malley has landed total not attempts total okay 991 times 900 okay how and he's been taken down eight times some of them whereas when he had a broke clearly he had a broken foot and the guy didn't even take advantage of it so well, actually he kept taking him down when he had a broken foot he should have made him stand up that's what it was but either way either way <laughs> his striking accuracy is 61. 61. Striking defense is 57 for Marab. So he's been hurt multiple times. He doesn't have good entries. Yes, he moves a lot. Sure. And even the coaches are saying he's going to have to uh, eat some punches to be able to get in. You can't get hit that many times by Sean O'Malley, especially because O'Malley has some great knees. We've seen him against Cheeto. We've seen him throw the knees before. Um... Let's see, he has some really, really good good knees. And at distance, O'Malley threw, threw 352 and landed 227. Again, Cheeto Vera was always moving in on a straight line. You know, Petter Jan gave him a tough fight, but I really like O'Malley. I think he does a lot of good work in this fight. And even if he does get taken down, I don't think it's necessarily the end of the match like immediately. Marab really hasn't shown a, a great ability to finish fighters. He can control, sure. But he, uh, O'Malley has some good knees. He has good distance striking. He has great movement. He's going to have to follow the movement with a combination. Because Marab might try to just eat the, eat the combination and go in for a takedown. Follow the movement or cut the angle the other direction. So he can get that, uh, that clinch. You know, or a takedown attempt, obviously. But he's going to use the clinch to get the takedowns. So, at least attempts. Um, I like Sean O'Malley. I think it's a devastating knockout. And I think we get the same O'Malley. Sugar show will continue. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. If you're new, join the, join the community. I, I appreciate it. Leave your comments down below. Let me know who you were picking. If you're picking him around, please tell me how he gets it done. Obviously, if he can get him down there, wear him out, he can get a submission. We haven't really seen that been to be a problem for O'Malley to I see the holes are there. Marab gets hit way too much, way too many times. I can't do it. Sean O'Malley, Sugar Show, continues, baby. As always, peace.